Hi everyone and welcome to the sixth lecture of tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem company queries one. So the problem states a company has n employees who form a tree hierarchy where each employee has a boss except for the general director. So this would be the root of the tree. The task is to process Q queries of the form who is the employee X is boss K levels higher up in the hierarchy. So we need to find the K the ancestor of the node X. This is a sample given where this is the tree and these are the queries. Right? For this tree, the first ancestor of 4 or the first boss of 4 would be the parent of 4 which is 3. Right? So for the query 4 comma 1, we will return 3. Now the second boss of 4 would be 1 because 1 is the second ancestor of 4. And for the query 4 comma 3, we don't have an ancestor so we will return minus 1. Right? For 4 comma 3, the answer would be minus 1. Right. So we need to process few queries of this form. Right. Firstly, we look at the, let's look at the brute force method. What we can do is we can maintain an array parent which will store the parent of each of the node. Let's say for a given query x comma k. What we can do is we can go to the parent of x. And ask for the k minus 1th ancestor. Right. And this will go to the parent of parent of x. And ask for the k minus 2 ancestor. Right. And so on. Until, until the k becomes 0. Then we will have an answer or we get minus 1 which is when we don't have an answer now this solution would be very slow it will take time complexity q into n why because let's say there is a tree which is arranged in a linear fashion let's say right and all the nodes are arranged like this these are n nodes and we have a query n comma n minus 1 right so this node will go to its parent, this will go to its parent and so on until it reaches the root, right? So there are about n steps in this query and let's say there are all the q queries are uh, the same, which is this one. And the total time complexity for this worst case would be big of n into q, which obviously won't work and we will need a more efficient solution to process each query. Now, we will be solving this problem using binary lifting. Now, firstly, what you can observe is for every k, we can break it into the powers of 2. Right? Let's say k is 19. The binary representation of 19 would be 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, you can write 19 as 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 0. Right? And for any k, we can do this. Nextly, what we will be doing is for every node firstly we will be storing the 2 to the power 0th ancestor which is the first ancestor or the parent of the node next the 2 to the power 1th ancestor or the second ancestor of the node next the 2 to the power 2th ancestor or the fourth ancestor of the, of the node and like this until the 2 to the power 20th ancestor which will be more than 10 to the power 5 which is good enough for the given constraint in the question now after a point in this it will anyways become minus 1 right and we will find these 20 values for each of the node right now using this we'll be, we will be processing each query and let's say in this in this tree for the 12th node i need to find the answer for k equals to 4 right now i've already pre-computed the answer which is 8 right because 4 is 2 to the part 2 and i already have this answer but now let's say k is not a power of 2 but let's say k is 6 now what we'll do is we'll firstly 
at 6 as a powers of 2 which is 4 plus 2 then we will firstly go to the fourth answer of 12 which we have pre-computed and then from 8 we will go to its second answer right now no more powers of 2 are remaining so we will return our answer which is 2 right now now let's come to the pre-processing part now firstly we know that 2 to the power i minus 1 plus 2 to the power i minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power i right because 2 to the power i minus 1 is getting multiplied by 2 thus we get this now now using this i can prove that for x if the 2 to the power i minus 1 th ancestor is y and for y if the 2 to the power i th i minus 1 th ancestor is z then for x the 2 to the power i th ancestor would be z right because let's say there is a node x and 2 to the power i i minus 1 th parent of x is y and the 2 to the power i minus 1 th i minus 1 is parent of y is z now there are total 2 to the power i nodes here right so the 2 to the power i is parent of x would be z right so let us uh, write as a of x comma i be the 2 to the power i is parent uh, 2, to the, 2 to the power i is ancestor of x then this would be a of a of x comma i minus 1 comma i minus 1 right so for example this was the y part and this is the z part right so let's look at look at the code of the pre-processing part firstly for the 2 to the power 0 we set the ancestor as the parent right now for from 1 to 20 if the previous two, uh, previous power of 2 ancestor was not minus 1 we set the ancestor for the 2 to the power i th ancestor for the node as what we discussed right otherwise it is minus 1 and then we call the preprocess function for all the children of the particular node now the time complexity for this would be n into log of n or about n into 20 since for each node this for loop will iterate over 20 values of i right now let's come to the query processing part now if k is equal to 0 we return the node and if node becomes minus 1 we don't have an answer and we return minus 1 now for 20 i equals to 20 to i equals to 0 we check if the ith bit of k is set right if the ith bit of k is set then we return the query for the and the two to the power ith ancestor of the particular node and the k value decreases by two to the power i right now the time complexity for this function would also be approximately equal to log of k then this function will be called um, the number of times the k bit is set right now let us look at the whole code firstly we have an array of in vectors and the ancestor array that stores the 2 to the power i th ancestor for each node where i is from 0 to 20 right and then we have the pre-processing function then the query processing function next we are taking the input and running the pre-processing function for the first node with the parent as minus 1 and for all the queries we are running the query for x and k that's it please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for watching